Hi, my name is Jim Marconi. It is my goal to help guide others towards a healthy lifestyle by promoting a whole food, meaning non-processed, plant-based, meaning non-animal diet that consists of more than 50% of the food being eaten being raw fruits and vegetables. I feel the 35 years practicing these principles gives me the credentials to pass them along. The following video is designed to provide information that will help in the practical transition to a healthier lifestyle. Now, in front of me here, these are some of the videos um, I'm doing how to make a salad, how to make a wrap, how to make hummus. This is some unbelievable avocado pudding, this chocolate pudding. Um, how to make a green smoothie and how to do a juice. I also do wheatgrass, but I don't have a shot of wheatgrass here in front of me. But I also do one of and there'll be more to come. Um, so that's, uh, that's my introduction and enjoy the video. Today, we're going to make a salad. Might sound pretty simple, but to have a healthy diet, a salad is a huge part of it. Every day you should have a very large salad. With my beautiful assistant here, Marianne, we are going to just show you how quickly you can put together a salad. Um, what we have here is an array of vegetables. All of these demonstrations I will do on uh, whatever I'm doing, they're all variations on a theme. There's, no, there's nothing rock solid on how to make a salad. But I do believe you want to get a lot of, a lot of um, greens and you want to uh, think of making it very colorful. You want, to, uh, you want to have the salad have lots of color in it and lots of greens. So, as Mary Ann's chopping up some red cabbage, that uh, I always seem to put red cabbage in there. Another thing that's important is, is to be using vegetables that are um, very accessible. Now, you want to use the highest quality vegetables you can get. And I would say um, organic and local is very important, but, you know, let's put our cards on the table. You can't always, you, you, you do the best you can do. And sometimes, you know, you simply can't afford the highest quality, so you do whatever you can do. And in this case, uh, this is all organic produce. You know, unfortunately, most of it's been shipped, you know, a couple thousand miles, which, you know, I'm not all that crazy about. But um, I, I put a little bit of kale, and I, you know, kale, you, you need to chew it up really, really good. But um, I like it in the, in the salad. Others may not. Um, we have some some celery that she's, uh, Marianne's cutting up, and here we have some, some dandelion greens. Now, I really like using dandelion greens. Uh, you have to understand about dandelion greens is that uh, romaine lettuce is a hybrid from dandelion greens, and the roots on, uh, on romaine lettuce is about that long, and the roots on dandelion greens can go up to 25 feet. So you get a lot more nutrition. Uh, I would encourage anyone to learn about picking wild greens because they are all over the place. And um, I'm going to get myself a knife and I'm going to help Mary Ann do that. Get out this green pepper. Um, it's also it's nice if you can take all these cuttings and have them for a compost. But again, everyone does whatever they can do. I'll take I'd the say cucumber. Do, okay. And I'll, I'll do the pepper. And That's cucumber. Fine. So it's so important, as I said before, to get, get as many greens, get as many vegetables as you can, because at least this way you're getting raw food, and raw food is, is incredibly important. As a matter of fact, they have found that if, if you eat less than 51% of the food you're eating is, is not raw, your body treats the cooked foods like it's an infection, like it's a foreign object, and uh, your white blood cell count goes very high, and that's how it, it attacks the food. Well, something's not right there. So you really, if you have over 51%, of, of raw food, that doesn't happen. So that tells me that how important it is to be eating raw food. And of course the raw food movement is getting you know, very large. Um, as I mentioned, I have been eating this way for 35 years 
and um, I would never, I wouldn't say I'm 100% raw, but I certainly over 51%, probably more like 70 to 80. So this would be a big step into getting all this raw food in you. So we're just about wrapping this up. I'm going to show you how we filled this. I also have some um, some beet here. Now, beet's a little much for some people, but um, it is a very very good food for you. And um, I want to uh, today. I'm just going to. You can shred this. Uh, you know, do whatever. Today, I'm just going to put in little little pieces, and that will that will work for today. And eating raw beets is good for your gallbladder. Yes, we have learned that. <laughs> beets are good for the gallbladder. Lots of people are having gallbladder problems it's because of what they eat. So, uh, you know, taking it out is not always the answer. You know. So, we're just about done here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we are all wood done. We'll take those. We will we will toss this. See, we're, we're tossing the salad. Now this is enough salad, you know, to last probably a couple of days. Depending on how many people and how much you're eating, but you know, uh, why don't you get me a plate and I'll show what a, what a good serving of salad is. Um, I'm also going to, now if you, I would say a pretty good serving of salad is something like that. That's a good serving. But if you can't eat that much, eat what you can. Okay, so we're going to take some sprouts. We're going to spread the sprouts around. Going to get a nice, nice look at this. Okay, we're going to. Take these tomatoes, move them around, and then we're going to take some avocado. Now, avocado is, I think, it's a food that should be eaten every day. And don't let anybody tell you that it's fattening, because if you're eating the right foods, the oils that you get from an avocado are not going to make you fat. And avocado is good for your brain. Is it good for your brain? <laughs> it sure is. Well, that's good. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, you think I'll need that? I think you can need that. Yeah, I probably won't be sticking in my face fingers in my mouth like I normally do. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got. We got this beautiful salad that should be become a staple of your diet. Every day eat food like this. So that uh, that wraps up the uh, the salad portion here and um, I hope to see you again.